congratulations on the movie. Thank uh, you. Sean, I want to begin by asking you, as a director, could you talk about the decision to make this particular film, to tell this story, mm -hmm. and the challenges that came with that? You know, um, it was, there are many reasons, I think, and I, I'm still figuring out all the reasons why I decided to, to focus a story in this neighborhood. Um, you know, I, I made a film called Starlet just before this, which was also uh, focused a little bit on one aspect of sex work, and this might have been just a logical progression of this. This intersection of Santa Monica and Highland is about a half a mile from where I live. Um, it's sort of a known, uh, sort of known for, it's an unofficial red light district in a way. And um, I thought as a filmmaker that we could find quite a cinematic story that takes place there. But not being from that world, I felt the only responsible and respectful way of doing it was for my co-screenwriter and I, Chris Bragash, to actually just pound the pavement, go in there, meet people, introduce ourselves, tell them what we want to do. We weren't finding anyone at first. We, they, were, they, were, they were reluctant to speak with us. And then one day we went over to the LGBT Center, which is around the corner, and that's where I found Maya Taylor, and Maya just drew us in. There was something about her. Um, she had that equality, and, and so we approached her, and she expressed enthusiasm. She was an aspiring entertainer, um, and so it all seemed to work. We started meeting. I, I, I heard, uh, go ahead, do you want to take it from there? Yeah, we started meeting, and... Um, and like you had never acted before? No. Okay. No, I didn't, not at all, other than theater when I was in, like, in junior high. <laughs> but, yeah, we started meeting. Um, we were talking about like some of the things that I had seen or some of the stories that I knew from the area and Sean fell in love with my personality and then later on I bought my very trusty sidekick <laughs> Kiki along with me. Oh, you brought yeah. Kiki in and you yeah. had never acted before. She said she just needed somebody to just stand there next to her and make her look better. And I said, I'm good at that because, you know, <laughs> I, I can't really think too far beyond my face. You were up for the challenge. No, no, I was up for a challenge and I was just like, and the way Maya brought me and introduced me, I, I was like, I was a little bit surprised that she had done that. Like, I didn't even know you were, like, were, remember, like, like, me liking this field of work. And I was just like, Oh crap, Maya knows a lot more than I've talked to her about this. What's going on? Because you studied drama in high school, right? Mm -hmm. In high school, and I took me in a little so, bit. So let me just ask mm. both of you this. How did you feel about acting in this film? And also, were you able to sort of relate to the characters and to the moments and, and really feel like you're part of this? Very much, very much. Um, Alexandra is a lot like Maya Taylor, a lot like the attitude and everything. and. Her sophistication, her class. Well, except the whole sex work thing. But <laughs> she's very much like me. And I enjoyed working on it. I guess because the team was so positive yeah. and so sweet. Yeah. And is it the same for you? You felt I, part I of it? I felt yeah. like there's no way you couldn't feel part of it because Sean gave everybody mm -hmm. a chance to give their opinion and their word and their life to be a part of the process. So it's like, how can you not be a part of it? somebody who? Sean, Chris, everybody who's involved, who is willing to open everything up and let you put whatever you wanted or, or, or listen to whatever you wanted to put into it. And it's just like, how can you not like feel a part of anything where everybody's just cool getting along? Especially the fact that it's like on an iPhone, it was like, if you weren't a part of it by that, you're a part of it because <laughs> you weren't in front of a camera, you're just on a... Right. iPhone instead. They're like, yeah, now we were closer apart. Yeah. We did a lot of workshopping early on yeah. before we even were, were, while we were still fleshing out the script. Mm -hmm. And we, w we would have this, these, this acting workshop. And immediately I was, I was like, oh my God, I'm really lucky here. I just found these two incredibly talented women. And they were delivering lines better than the stuff that we had written and uh, <laughs> setting each other's jokes up and delivering mm -hmm. punchlines. It was really a fantastic experience and I consider myself extremely lucky to have met these two. Yeah, well you can tell, it's all on screen. You can really <laughs> tell. So congratulations to all of you. Thank and you. thanks so much for talking to me. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.